when people talk about Antarctica, they are mesmerizingly wonderful stories. They're full of joy and hope and, and uh, you know, they're spellbindingly interesting stories. And what happened is this, the narrative in the space of maybe five minutes went from uh, joy to frustration to anger to grief to tears. And it was a sort of stunning and very rapid tra transition in the group. And it finished with, you know, in the end you have to have a beard to be a leader in Antarctica. And the grief was both frustration at how often these women were passed over by a man for leadership roles in polar science. Uh, but the other one was also the grief associated with watching what's happening to the planet. See. And that night I had a dream and the dream was absolutely crystal clear. I think I even saw the name Homeward Bound on a wall. The film crew was in the vision. I was taking 45, or we were taking 45 women to Antarctica. They were getting access to state-of-the-art strategy leadership, transformational leadership capability and connection to science as it informs what's happening to the planet and on their return would be more able to influence policy and decision making on behalf of the greater good. And I woke up in the morning going, oh my god, that was such a visceral, clear vision. And so I rang Dr. Jess Melbourne Thomas who had done a women's program um, uh, with us and told her the dream and I said, do you think this has got legs? And she said yes. And the rest is history as they say. And, and um, lo and behold, at the end of uh, November in 2014, so six weeks after the dream, it finally reaches the CEO of the Australian Antarctic Division who says, I think this is a brilliant idea and should have happened. And not that they were able subsequently to help financially, but I think that level of endorsement gave us the courage to go forward. And the Homeward Bound intention is to create a global network of a thousand highly resourceful women who can take positions at the leadership table. And even though they may be in the minority, they will always have each other. Mm. And one of them will be able to go online a on a Thursday night and I say I need to talk to someone, I have a problem in this piece of legislation and bam, online are three or four women who not only can help, but can help them lead, can help them think through, well what are you thinking about yourself in this context? So we have three, three primary strategic objectives, so with this thousand strong group, one is every woman is more able to lead, two they understand they're stronger together and three we have impact. Now, we may have impact through Homeward Bound and the Homeward Bound alumni may have impact, but pods of them unquestionably will have impact that we can't even possibly foresee. So why Antarctica ultimately for this trip? Because I think it became, an, I knew this at an intuitive level, an isolated civilization of women on a ship and we became a pod of white. We became this little group and we all had to go, all of us had to go through the challenges of that space. It wasn't easy. It was a really, really hard thing to do. Um, 75 scientists, you know, people with an analytical background in a transformational program, um, to imagine. So as the temperature drops, a London P super descends. So you enter this fog, which you can't see out of, or into and everything becomes mute and the water becomes calm and sound has that wonderful uh, quality it does in mist and you travel almost in silence through this strange fog and when you come out the other side you aren't on the planet that you knew anymore the air has changed the color has changed it's monochrome. You could just as well be on another planet. And, and, you know, within a very short period of time, icebergs appear. Mm. But they're not little. They're not, I don't know what anyone's imagination is about an iceberg. They're huge. They're like you're passing a city building. And, you know, one can be 70, 80 metres long and 50 feet high and there's some penguins bunched up on the end 
and in the distance you will see something that's 20 or 30 kilometers long. They are behemoths. And from then on in, you're in a spellbinding environment. But all this dialogue, I mean, to visit the American bus when Trump had just been elected uh, was amazing to hear people who are at the leading edge of climate change and the consequences of it and to hear how they're coping and how they frame up their responsibility. It was fascinating. So there were 16 landings, there was this work on the boat, they were meeting in teams, they were collaborating. In the middle of it all was a major art project. I think that our 10-year vision is the rise of the matriarchs, that the voice of older women is heard, that women recover their centre, and the centre is that we are at our best when we work across ages, across professions. Uh, we have a mandate on Homeward Bound that we will take women in their early 20s and women in their late 70s, early 80s, providing they're physically fit, age is not an issue. And what happens is we help each other, we work together, and very quickly from a hierarchical structure we level and then we blend. And that's what a collective does. And it's very different from how the world operates. It's neither for profit nor not for profit. No one profits from it. But we're not beholden to anyone. And so really what it turned into was a global crowdfunding initiative, effectively. So we have a massive rethink on the design at the moment and all 75 are actively involved in advising how to do it differently, how to do it better. And I realise we're on the receiving end of 75 brilliant minds with common cause peer reviewing a global movement. And I'm pretty confident the next group will do the same thing. And all this. And so I've just made a decision to help as many women as I can with a science background. Why science? Because um, the, the, the reality is science touches every part of our lives and will touch every part of our future. And the tragedy of living in what is now being coined the post fact era mm. is appalling. It is appalling. Uh, so talking to sciences, scientists or women with a science background about their visibility, their um, emotional engagement with their message, their ability to, to collaborate is mission critical for all of us. You know? I just don't think it's a game anymore. I know too much about what's happening with the planet and I won't walk away from it.